What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Let me know in the comment section below. What have you been up to? What's what's going on with you? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Today we have another tutorial that continues to challenge the question, do we really need capture cards? I'll be showing you guys in Streamlabs OBS today how to input a video source of your PS4 gameplay without using a capture card straight to your computer. Literally, no cables, no wires, nothing. Just your computer and your PlayStation. That is all you'll need, hardware-wise. You will need to download a piece of software called the PS4 Remote Play app. So get that on your computer. It's compatible with Windows and Mac OS so you won't have a problem there. Install that as you would any normal application and you'll be set to go. So once you have the PS4 Remote Play app installed on the computer, you can go ahead and launch it. And then just make sure that your computer and the PlayStation 4 are on the same network connection. And then go ahead and press start. And the Remote Play app will start to look for your PS4. Once it finds it, it will start turning it on. So you will see it come up on your TV screen. It'll turn on and everything. And here's the picture. I was playing Fall Guys last. Yes, I was. Now, one thing to note here, if you immediately start picking up your PlayStation 4 controller and you press the PlayStation button and you're trying to use it with your console, you will disconnect from your remote play session on the computer. And you don't want that because you want to be able to record it and you have a black screen now, so it won't work. So don't try pairing the PlayStation 4 controller with the console right away. There's another way you're going to want to use the controller and that's by pairing it with the computer itself. What you have to do to pair the controller with your computer is first you wanna press the share button and the home PlayStation button at the same time for about three seconds and you should see the back of this start flashing in just a moment. There it is, you see it flashing. And now I wanna find the Bluetooth settings on my computer and then select connect. There it is, it's connected now. So now if I go back into the remote play app, you can see that it does work with my controller. Not too much of a problem here, a little bit of input lag I can feel, but it's not that bad. If the input lag from the controller to the computer to the PS4 Remote Play app is just unbearable, you can do the two PlayStation Network account method where all you'll need to do is use one account to do the remote play session, and then you're gonna need to use the controller to log into a different account so that you'll have the controller paired directly with the PlayStation. It's a little bit extra, but it'll work. Check out the video I did right here where I go in on how to do that specific method that I just mentioned. So now that you have your controller hooked up with the remote play application, you're ready to input this source into Streamlabs. So within Streamlabs OBS, in one of your scenes, you wanna go to your sources and select the plus button to add a new source. Now, if you're on Mac OS, you're gonna to wanna to add a display capture and add it as a source, name it whatever you want. And whichever monitor or display that you have your game on, that's where you want to have your display capture. I'm gonna draw this out a little bit. And I just full screened the PS4 Remote Play app. And there you go. It works just like that for Mac. And if I wanna make sure I'm recording the gameplay audio from the Remote Play app, I'm gonna be using my multi-output device on my computer. And then within my Streamlabs audio settings, I can select one of my auxiliary devices to be the I show you audio capture and select done. And then any audio that's played on my desktop will be recorded in Streamlabs. Now you Mac users won't automatically have the I show you audio capture or the multi-output device. You'll have to install those. I left links in the description below, but if you wanna figure out detailed in the tutorial and how that's done, here's a card, check out that video, and I show you how it's done. If you waited through the video to see how it's done on Windows, it's so much easier. It's a similar setup, but this time when you add a source, you wanna add a window capture. Add the source, name it whatever you want, and then you can select the window of the PS4 Remote Play app. And then just select done, and you're good to go. And recording desktop audio on Windows is super easy. It's a built-in feature. You can literally select it as an option within your audio settings. That is all there is to it, guys. You don't need to use a capture card to get your PS4 gameplay footage into Streamlabs OBS. 
on your computer. Of course, if you have any questions, sound it off in the comment section below. And when you're ready to disconnect your controller from your computer, all you need to do is press the share button, home button again, it'll disconnect from your computer and then just plug in a USB cable from the controller to the PlayStation and then you'll be able to log back in directly with the controller to the PlayStation again without a problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit it with the big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thank you guys so much for watching and sharing the content and helping this channel continue to grow. I appreciate it so much. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.